Oh, welcome to Voyager Pharmaceuticals, a channel. Joining us to discuss, we have Brent Willis, the CEO, who's going to take us through a high-level overview of the company, a little bit of his history, and some milestone expect uh, expectations for 2024. But first and foremost, welcome, sir. How are you doing? Thanks for having me on. Living the dream, and it's a pleasure to get you on. So for newer audiences, you develop pharmaceutical ingredient minerals, and I think there's a lot going on that's very prevalent for the medical industry. So maybe give us that broad view. What exactly do you guys do there at Voyager? Well, we uh, we started as a mineral exploration company, and after we discovered uh, one of the purest deposits of barium sulfate in uh, British Columbia, we decided to pivot to uh, barium contrast, and and we evolved into a pharmaceutical company. And our focus is on producing our own minerals, uh, vertically integrating the uh, radiology drug space and reducing our costs. So we, we're the most competitive company out there in the market and we have some su secure supply chain. These minerals are all strategic critical minerals that are in short supply. There's major issues right now in the contrast imaging industry securing these drugs. North America is 100% dependent on import of, of these uh, pharmaceutical grade minerals to manufacture these drugs. And uh, we have a plan that we're moving forward with that will allow us to uh, provide a secure supply chain in North America. No, this is absolutely astounding. And I'm sure something many investors are unaware of. So maybe uh, give us an idea of what's going on in uh, 2025. You can even backtrack a bit, maybe lead up to uh, where we're at and where we're going. Sure. So uh, maybe I'll start with, uh, you know, what are radiology drugs? So anytime somebody uh, is uh, suffering from some sort of disease, the first phase is going through uh, a CT scanning, X-ray scanning, MRI scanning. So these drugs are uh, critical for uh, diagnosing disease. And as these shortages uh, continue and get worse, then you know the lineup and the time to get in and get scanned gets longer and, and uh, it threatens people's lives. So we're filling a major gap here that's critical. And uh, so what we've been doing here as a company, when we transitioned into... Uh, uh, contrast media is uh, we've developed five health Canada licensed products. Uh, we spent 18 months uh, in 20, ending in 2024 formulating and creating these new products to compete in the market. And we're uh, advancing with uh, FDA in 2025. And uh, we decided to start by importing uh, barium contrast. So, or sorry, uh, pharmaceutical grade barium sulfate. And Landed at our plant, uh, we have we engaged with a contract manufacturer to start with doing all our batch work and uh, Health Canada work. And they're the ones who are going to manufacture our first products to market using imported barium sulfate. And the cost for that for us currently is uh, between seven and $8,000 a ton for that barium sulfate. So with our Francis Creek barium project, our costs are estimated uh, to be around six to $700 a ton. So significantly lower uh, cost for manufacturing. And we have uh, SGS Canada did a valuation on our on our project and, and valued it at $344 million. So there's a lot of upside for investors moving forward with us into 2025 as we start realizing that valuation on our barium project. And we're also moving forward with a project in the United States for iodine, where we're going to repeat the same thing we're doing with barium on producing our own iodine direct from mineral, mineral brine water and bypassing uh, many of the steps that all the other pharmaceutical companies are required to do in order to manufacture their drugs, which will reduce our costs significantly and provide a secure supply chain for iodine drugs, which is over a, a $4.3 billion market. So, and, and to continue on our vertical integration, we've partnered with Rain Cage Carbon, who have a carbon capture technology that takes CO2 and produces what are called uh, carbon fullerenes and carbon nanotubes. And they were successful at putting a vanadium atom inside a carbon 60 molecule, which we can move forward and create a, a new and better MRI drug. So we have a lot of interesting segments to our company. We're focused on the barium contrast project to launch our company forward into revenue in 2025. And uh, we're going to be focusing on all the segments of our of our company as it will maximize the shareholder value as we move forward. Yeah, no, this was incredibly insightful. I definitely appreciate all this, but I wouldn't mind rolling back a little bit as well. How did you kind of get involved with Voyager, uh, Brent? What led up to that aha moment that kind of took you to where you are? 
Uh, well, my brother and I formed Voyager and we took it public in 2017. Uh, we've been in the barium sulfate business for over 30 years. Uh, the Francis Creek project will be our third project we bring from discovery to production. So we have extensive knowledge on how to process minerals. Uh, my background's petroleum engineering and uh, my brother's is mining engineering. So as we move forward and transition into pharmaceuticals, we just surrounded ourselves with uh, expertise, great consultants. We've uh, been building our team out to uh, manage each project with experts. You know, we just recently brought in uh, Dr. Irina Sarantrova as our chief scientific officer, who will be managing our all our product development, regulatory, and uh, phase trials. We've partnered with Applied Pharmaceutical Innovations, nonprofit out of uh, the province of Alberta that will be running all our phase trial development work in their labs. And uh, we we just brought on Dr. Hashmi as our VP of uh, Business Development. He's got over 25 years in the contrast imaging business, and he's already out uh, internationally uh, getting our awareness out to uh, new markets that are interested in buying our products once we get uh, improvement here in Q1. So, uh, and we surround ourselves with great consultants. We have uh, some of the best contrast experts in the world working for us, um, regulatory experts, and uh, we have an independent board of directors who uh, do a great job of managing the interests of our shareholders. And uh, we're building a really uh, great company with a foundation of starting with bearing contrast. On that note, we'll pass it off to the viewers as always. We'd love to know what you think and consider subscribing as news catalyst at the wire like this. Of course, we're going to bring it to you here. But on that note, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.